Hey everyone, Ryan from Fox Tech here. Today, we're going to talk about what happens if you remove or disable the iMessage app on your iPhone. There's a bit of confusion around this topic, so I'm here to clear things up. Let's get right into it. First off, it's important to know that you cannot fully remove the iMessage app from your iPhone. iMessage is a core app that's integrated into the iOS system, so it's not something you can just delete like other apps. However, you do have the option to disable iMessage if you no longer want to use it. To disable iMessage, you'll need to go into Settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on Messages, and then toggle off the iMessage switch. Once you do this, your iPhone will stop sending and receiving iMessages. Instead, any messages you send will go through as standard SMS or MMS, provided your cellular plan supports those. Now, there are a few things that will change once you disable iMessage. For instance, in group conversations where everyone else is using iMessage, you'll lose some of the enhanced features like read receipts, message effects, and typing indicators. The conversation will essentially switch over to basic SMS, which lacks the rich features of iMessage. Another key point is that after you disable iMessage, you won't be able to send or receive iMessages on that device. This also means that your iMessages won't sync with other Apple devices, like your iPad or Mac. So if you rely on that seamless messaging experience across all your Apple devices, disabling iMessage on your iPhone will disrupt that. And that's pretty much what happens if you decide to disable iMessage on your iPhone. It's a big change, especially if you're used to the features and conveniences of iMessage, but it's entirely up to you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips. See you guys later.